Let's see if this next area is ready. I've sprayed it again, and you know what? There's still some, some paper here, and I could just rip it down, but if I do, then I'm gonna have to spray that again, and sometimes you can do that. In fact, maybe I should show you what happens when all of it doesn't come off. Now see, it wasn't very much. It was just a few little bits up here. See there? Yeah, that was it. But see, if, if, if you can't get it, now see I've got two pieces ripped. What you want to do is, is then rip them back down together so that you can try to get it, the paper all in one go again. That way it's going to come off. And if you want, you can kind of pull it at an angle and pull it this way at an angle so that you don't have as much on the surface at any one go where you're pulling it. You know what I mean? Oh, I didn't score that yet. Okay, got to score this here. And the other thing they did here, oh, okay, is they caulked around the door here. And they caulked right over the wallpaper. I think you can see that, can't you? Right in here. Okay, so if you try to rip that down, chances are you're going to have a squiggly line there. Then you're going to have to try to get it out in one little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to score this right through the caulking. Because chances are, whatever happens later, they're going to have to re-caulk around the door. Okay, so I'm going to score that now so that the wallpaper comes off nice and clean. When you score around your door, make sure you've got a nice sharp sheetrock knife. Okay. And just be careful. Try to get right up next to there. Last thing you want to do is stop paying attention and go way out. Like, oh, oops. Now you're going to have a line in your wall after you remove your wallpaper, okay? And just keep pulling it on down. I see I stopped the, there's a slight rip there. And I want to try to get that if I can. I might not have scored that deep enough. with my sheetrock knife. Looks just a hair dry next to the door frame. You know? Everywhere else seems to be coming off good. I can feel it. Uh, okay. It's going. It's going pretty good along the door edge. Okay. Look at that. All coming off in one piece. Paper, wallpaper, coming off in one piece. Now that's amazing. Okay, I got that spray and I almost forgot I need to start spraying this next row before I get done with removing that last previous row. Always make sure you work ahead of yourself and put that water down because you're going to have to saturate each panel a few times. And can you keep going for the rest of your walls? Yeah, you could. Um, just know that it might take a little bit longer, more applications of water, because once that dries, you're going to have to go over it a few more times anyways. Okay? Always have a plan and work ahead of yourself. Now, if you have a large room, you spray the whole thing. Your hand's going to get sore after a while. You know, but you can do it. Uh, another idea is if you had a Hudson sprayer, you could fill that up with water, pump that up, and just spray it, spray the walls on down, and that would be a good way too. You just want to make sure you don't overdo it and get too much water on the floor. Now this water here is going straight down onto the baseboard. So every once in a while, you may want to 
wipe up any excess that you have down on the floor. I know you want to get right in here and help me with this, don't you? See, I'm pulling at an angle and then I can pull that way at an angle. Okay. That's going to be a little tough up against the door. You may have to clean that up because you've got caulking that, that's over the edge too. But I'm not going to be too concerned about that. I see some of the sheetrock mud is lifting to a certain extent, not very much. And instead of trying to pull this straight out and putting more pressure on the wall, you want to go down at an angle, okay? And a little bit, and a little bit, and you'll do it.